What's going on, people? Troops TV, back again. Back our blood clock again, you understand? Match reaction time, you get me. Brentford, nil, Arsenal, one. Now, after that first half, blood, you would not have thought that would have been the scoreline, blood. You get me? Um, obviously, Aaron Ross, Clark Ramsdale was back again in the team. Obviously, David Rea can't play against Brentford. So, Rams took his place in the team. And if we're being honest, blood, it was a very shaky start from Aaron Ramsdale, blood. You understand? That first incident with his feet when he's allowed um, Mbwemo to press him, win it. If it's not for Rice tucking in and reading the game and seeing the play and actually going back on the line, we're 1-0 down, blood. You get me? Yet again, Declan Rice saves us, blood. You understand? Then the incident when Ramsdale goes to throw the ball and it's like he can't even throw the ball, blood. You understand? Confidence has was shot in the first half, blood. You get me? Whatever Arteta said to him at half time, we saw a different Ramsdale in the second half, blood. You get me? He was more calm. He was more cool. His kicking was on point. He was coming out and collecting the ball. He made a couple of good punches. And it was a much better performance from Ramsdale. Very happy to see him get a clean sheet, blood, after all the madness with him being dropped, his pups doing up interview. Very good for him to um, get that clean sheet under his belt. Um, Declan Rice, blood, you understand? Yet again, another fantastic performance from the man. Week in, week out, we are seeing why he is worth 100 million, blood. You get me? That was an absolute steal. You get me? When you look at the bigger picture now, you take Rice out of that team, there is no midfield, blood. You understand? It does not work. You get me? Odegaard had a bit of a quiet game, if we're being totally honest, blood. You get me? He's been quiet this season. I thought maybe having that time off, he would have came back and been a bit more, a bit more um, enthusiastic, but he, he, he really wasn't, blood. You get me? Martinelli was getting doubled up on the whole game, but he was still trying to make things happen. Saka was actually, I think Saka was poorer than Martinelli today, blood. You get me? But Saka has that in his game where he can be poor, but then he will be involved in the vital part of the game. And another assist from Bakayo Saka, that's nine assists for Bakayo this season, blood. And he hasn't even started playing to his high potential, bro. You get me? So that is a good look as well, because when he does start to cook, he's going to go to another level, blood. You get me? Eddie Nketia was brought on by Arteta again. And yet again, the man did nothing again, blood. You get me? Fantastic opportunity to give us the lead. The man just literally hits the ball straight at the keeper, blood. Do you understand? They've given this man the number 14 shirt, 100 bags a week. He is not Arsenal level, blood. You understand? He's not even Brentford level, bro. You get me? Like, he only bangs against championship, man. He will not bang against the top half, bro. You get me? Like, man will tell me I scored against Chelsea and United, bro. They man are not top half teams right now. You understand? Man are not top teams, bro. You get me? Like, another poor performance from Eddie and Ketia. But Kai Havertz, blood. You understand? Kai Havertz, King Kai saves the day, blood. <laughs> you get me? King Kai saves the day, bro. When I pulled him on, I was thinking, oh, shit, here we go again. You get me, bro? Um, why are we bringing on Havertz? He's probably going to put him in the midfield. But he actually put him in the false line, blood. You get me? And that's where you need to play Havertz, blood. Because he's not a midfielder. It does not work with him in the midfield. The midfield is just stagnated when he's in there, blood. You get me? When you put him up top, the man's a problem, bro. You get me? And I've said that. If you're going to play Havertz... Play him in the false nine. You get me? When that chance fell to him, I wasn't confident, bro. You understand? Because he's missed enough chances when he's coming in at the back post, blood. Enough chances, bro. He missed two against um, Sheffield United, fam. You get me? So I wasn't very confident when I saw him uh, attacking the ball. But he, he done what he had to do, blood. You understand? Lovely finish. Straight through the goalie's legs. We take the three points back to N5, blood. You get me? Hopefully, he can kick on from that now, blood. Because obviously, the penalty... It's, it, 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 you can say it's a confidence booster, but it's, it's really not in it because you're literally saying, all right, here, it's, it's, it's a mercy, it's a mercy goal. You get me? You feel sorry for him, blood. All right, I'm going to give you that, blood. This one here could actually give him confidence, bro, and actually have him playing at a decent level because he hasn't played at a decent level. You get me? Get me? He ain't played at the Arsenal level, but hopefully now he can take that and really start his Arsenal career, blood. You get me? Because if Havertz does well, I'm happy because if he does well, then we're going to win, blood. You get me? So 
that's my thoughts on the game, blood. You understand? You lot let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You don't know the vibe. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until the podcast, it's your boy Troops, and I'm out.